Pharmacy CUSC exams with answer part 13. Number 181, which one is not the consequence of poor medication adherence among patients? A. Substantial worsening of the underlying disease. B. Death from the underlying disease and or it is complications. C. Decrease health care costs. D. Development of drug resistance and therapeutic failure. The answer is C. Number 182. Which one of the following is a major cause of adverse drug reactions among elderly patients? A. Polypharmacy. B. Female gender. C. Drug drug interactions. D. Expensive medications. The answer is A. Number 183. Which of the following pharmacokinetic parameters has the most important and consistent and related changes that can affect medication prescribing? A. Gastrointestinal absorption. B. Renal excretion. C. Hepatic metabolism. D. Distribution. The answer is B. Number 184, a patient was taking furosemide 20 mg IV BID for the treatment of CHF. When the patient was discharged from the hospital, switching IV route to per oral was considered. What should be the appropriate pure conversion dose if bioavailability of furosemide is 50%? A, 40 mg pure BID. B, 10 mg pure BID, C, 20, C, 20 mg pure BID, D, 20 mg pure TID. The answer is A. Number 185, a mother having an infant of two months brought her child to you looking for help. When you examine the child, his skin was gray blue or cyanosis, anemic or regular respiration, hypothermia, and the color of the stool is changed. The mother said that this all happened after she gave an unknown drug without consulting a health professional. What do you guess the most likely drug the child was taking? A. Tetracycline. B. Rifampicin. C. Chloramphenicol. D. Streptomycin. The answer is C. Number 186. An antibiotic which can be used in the management of acne vulgaris. A. Amoxicillin. B. Gentamicin. C. Tetracycline. D. Isoniazide. The answer is C. Number 187. A lot of water should be taken during treatment. This advice is given for A. Cotrimoxazole. B. Mibendazole. C. Metrondazole. D. Amoxicillin. The answer is A. Number 188. Chow before swallowing. This advice is given for one of the following drugs. A. Metrindazole capsule. B. Paracetamol tablets. C. Niclosamide tablets. D. Prasquantal tablet. The answer is C. Number 189. A patient presents to the emergency department with an extreme headache after a show workup. The attending physician concludes that the pain is due to increased intracranial pressure.
which diuretic should work best to reduce this pressure? A. Astazolamide B. Frosamide C. Manitor D. XCD The answer is B. Number 190 A 55 years old male with kidney stones has been placed on a diuretic to decrease calcium expression. However, after a few weeks, he develops an attack of gout. Which diuretic was he taking? A. Frosiamide B. Spirolactone C. HCT D. Trimestrine The answer is C. Number 191, a 45 years old man was just started on therapy for hypertension and developed a persistent dry cough, which is most likely responsible for these side effects. A. Enalapril B. Neftipine C. Lozartan D. Prazosin The answer is A. Number 192, one of the following measurements of adherence technique differs from the other. A. Self-reports B. Peer counters C. Pharmacy refill records D. Detection of drugs metabolites in plasma The answer is D. Number 193, which one of the following statements is false? A. When drops and ointments are used, use the drops first then wait 5 minutes before applying the eye ointments. B. When two drops are used and if one drop causes singing, it should be used first. C. It is better to use drops during the dry end then use eye ointment in the evening. D. If the patient is using two types of eye ointment, apply the first and then wait 10 minutes before applying the second. The answer is B. Number 194. One of the following actions is good when asthmatic patient inhales salbutamol. A. Breathe out after pressing his inhaler and inhale rapidly. B. Do not breathe in, th in through his nose but in his mouth. C. Press down on his inhaler at the end of inhalation or within the first second of inhalation. D. Press his inhaler several times while he is inhaling. The answer is B. Number 195. Which of the following found on labeling but not on the prescription paper? A. Drug name B. Expired date C. Patient name D. Drug dose and formulation The answer is B. Zare koi tha chini masila bar le laandi kabla chun tufalu gus mara jakalo komit masi kara skam tulen level ata mara ja yitu chana lachin subscribe mara gitse kuno namasak ganalam balilara esa gudas kamen ganai mara kam gizi chao.